Welcome back, and we are going to go ahead and continue the Four Lords line by speaking to Bunjin here. A pleasure as ever to see you, my friend. Would that I could say the same for Soroban. He has yet to return to Tamamizu, so I can only assume he is still busy undergoing Genbu's rigorous training. Hello? Hello, Zalera? Is my Link Pearl working? So unreliable, these little things. I'm going to pay a visit to Ryzen Temple to see Soraban. Give him a treat to keep his spirits up. If you're available, you should come too. I hope you haven't forgotten how to get there, but in case you have, look for the cute animal trying not to look like a guard on duty in the middle of the volcanic island. I was, of course, not privy to your conversation just now, but... But on the off chance you are bound for Ryzen Temple, give Sorban and Genbu my regards. Back to the temple! Here's where I wish we had an Aetherite. But... Well... Um... Where is my exit? There it is! Back to Ryzen Temple. Getting close. Uh, where is he? There he is. Okay. Here we go. met, brave adventurer. You are come alone this day? What of the urchin girl I recall nipping at your heels? That's Tataru. 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 And I'll thank you not to forget it, or else you'll get no takoyaki from me. Oh my, that would be most unfortunate. My sincerest apologies. I shall endeavor to remember, little urchin Tataru. <laughs> of course, your name I will not soon forget, for you saved my dear friend Biako from descending into madness. It is good that you are here, Zalera. Soraban has made great strides in his training, it is true, but I believe we need, con need consider more drastic methods. Though he is not without potential, Sorban, as he is, simply lacks divinity. Should we carry on as we are, he may not be ready when we have need of his strength. As with Byako before, there will come a time when we must confront Seiryu and Suzaku the, and quell the raging Arma Aramitama within them. Accordingly, we must use every means at our disposal, no matter how dangerous, to ensure that we are prepared. No. No matter how dangerous? What exactly do you have in mind? Oh, there's no need for fearful trembling or withdrawing into one's shell. All I would have you do is open a box. Oh, is that all? Well, I've opened my fair share of boxes. But know that it is no ordinary box you must open. It is a tama tamate bako of geomancy, a sacred vessel which harbors the very power of time itself. And yet you say there is no need for fearful trembling. 
The box sounds terribly dangerous. To what end would you have me open it? That you may bathe in its temporal magics and age a thousand years in an instant. That you may undergo the change and become an auspice, albeit until the magics dissipate. You, you would have me become an auspice like the Four Lords? Hold on. Solera, didn't you come across one of those tomate bako in Shishui of the Violet Tides? You did, didn't you? Yes, we did when we fought uh, and had to turn into the old lady um, to avoid some of the attacks. I am aware of similar relics in the possession of the Rayan. However, their magics alter only the appearance of those exposed. A mummer's trick. A glamour. Altogether unlike the phenomenal power of the tom tomate bako we seek. Know that this is no legend, but incontrovertible truth. For the one who created the tomate bako of Geomancy was a fellow auspice. Like many of us, he had lived long enough to see comrades become consumed by the Aramatama, see them descend into madness and lay waste to the lands they had sworn protect to protect. And, like many of us, he had no choice but to put an end to their rampages. This auspice knew full well that he was destined to share their fate, and so, before he too fell from grace, he resolved to craft the Tamate Bako of Geomancy. And when his work was complete, he bathed in its magics until he was no more. By the Kami, he chose to die while his mind was still his own. I... I don't know what to say. Once the true potential of the box was understood, that it could bring death to an auspice, it was decided that it should be placed under lock and key in the Swallow's Compass until we had need of it. However, the Grand Mausoleum of King Ganon has been abandoned to the Shikigami forever bound to its halls as guardians, and only a warrior of surpassing strength can hope to overcome its trials. Steal yourself, Soraban. Until the moment Zolara returns with the Tomate Bako of Geomancy, you must train like you have never trained before. Y yes, yes, of course. Hey, so we're gonna head to back to Yongcha. This time, Namai. All right. Now, what is the best route to take? Go this way, and then we're gonna go take a round. It's gonna be our best option. Unless it's gonna let us. Oh, it is gonna let us. Okay, well, we should be able to fly pretty straight on then. For a little bit. Mmm. I had uh, mentioned before that I didn't remember the ruins over there. That's what it's for. Okay. Well, not ruins, but more like a temple-like structure. I was like, I didn't remember that this what this was for, and it swallows compass. Okay. Oh, hey, you made it! Finally! I've only been waiting here forever and a day, but hey, it's not like we've got a potential calamity to worry about or anything. Anyway, I've already taken care of the ward sealing the tomb's entrance, so you're free to go in and get the box. But whatever you do, don't open it. Ah, and one more thing. I'll wager they told you about the Shikigami, but forgot to mention the box itself is guarded by one of us. A tough bugger and a half. But you're pretty tough, a tough, pretty pu- <laughs> But you're a pretty tough bugger yourself, eh? You gave Byako what for, after all. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Swallers! Swallers? Swallow- I can't talk today. Swallow's Compass is the final optional dungeon in Stormblood. Um, this was why I had to wait, because we had to actually get through the Jade Stoa first before getting to 
um, as well as compass. As per usual, uh, there is no duty support as this is an optional dungeon. I will queue up and I will join back with you once the queue pops. All right, let's go. Boss coming.
great. Good, good. We've gotten rid of all our bad, bad stuff. Almost. Got him. Beautiful. Probably dance. That's a fun area to try to get through. Oh, he's kind of familiar. Later, or at least his model.
here. Bigger still. Dance. Beautiful. hard to see the AOEs on the ground here. Final boss.
Oh. I can't I can't figure out the tell. figure out what the tell was there, but I'm sure if I go back and look at it, I'll figure it out. Buddy. All right. Okay, so it's almost faster to go through Kugani. That's what I'm going to do from now on. Ruby Price, and it's much, much closer from there. You are returned, and with the tomate baco in ge of geomancy, I gather. Here you go. Very good, very good. Of course, there was no need to fear for the well-being of the warrior who faced my brother, Byako, and lived. Let us brook no further delay and make ready for this next stage of Sorban's training. Listen well, everyone, for the magics we are about to unleash are ancient and terrifying. It is exceedingly dangerous, especially for Soroban. Uh, I wish you would stop saying that. Be at ease, Soroban. Yako will devote his energies to maintaining the wards on Koryu's prison while we are occupied. Should you be indisposed for a time, we will manage. And I've been secretly practicing my ar my arcan arcanima in preparation for a time like this, so don't worry. No matter what happens, we'll be ready. After all, we've got we've each got to do our part if we're going to claim the fabulous riches. I mean, if we're going to save the ruby seed from certain doom. Her enthusiasm notwithstanding, I expect we will need to turn to you should this training go awry. Take a moment to see to your equipment, and let me know when you are ready to begin. Ooh, we've got an instance. 